Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. In this video, I want us to listen to residents of Eldoret, Wasingishu County for their sentiments, are going to inform the basis of our analysis right now. Na ile kitu mimi nataka nimwambie rais. Ile vitu namwambia rais sisi kama vijana wa Wasingishu na Kenya msima ya kwamba sisi saizi hatutaki tena maneno ya hatutatenga, tuletenga, tutafanya, tulifanya. Sisi tunataka actions. Kama nataka kusulisha shida hizo atuluishe. Na kama nataka kutusafirisha ile safari alikuwa anataka kutusafirisha, atatusafirisha tu mapema. Hakuna haja aendelee kututesa. Atusafirisha once and for all tujue tumeenda, tujue tumeenda. Kwa sababu ukiangalia seriously inakuwaje mtu anaongeza ID from 100 shillings mpaka 2000. How possible is that? How practical is that? Hiyo ni how many percent? Anaongeza anaongeza kitu kama marriage certificate. Unaweka 50,000 sio ama 100,000. Ah vijana mtu mwenye anaoa saizi hatuna kazi hata kwa wenyewe imekuwa ni blanda ni noma utapata hapi 50,000. 50,000 ni pesa yenye kama kama ya juu ya kwamba vijana wako na shida akuje ground. 50,000 ni pesa yenye sisi tunasikia tu kwa theory. Okay, si hadi kitu unatashika tangu hata akuwe president ukiuliza hawa vijana kama ameshika 20,000 utapata kama ni kwa vijana 100 wenye amepata 20,000 tangu akuwe president labda ni mmoja ama wawili. So lazima ajue ya kwamba wale vijana alitembea akizunguka akiwaambia ati wajinga waliisha Kenya bado tuko. Na kama kweli na alijua wajinga waliisha Kenya ajue basi. Unless kama hataki kura tena kwa sababu imefika mahali si maneno ya asimiwa ama Kenya kwanza. Hii inakata gross. Eh na wa Kenya washikane tuwe kitu moja tulie na sauti moja. Otherwise hao watu wanatumaliza. Those are elder residents William Ruto's home county. So it's coming out very clearly that even in William Ruto's own home county people are suffering. And this is why I have some issues when somebody makes a mistake. Then he says his community is being targeted. We are seeing Rigadi and William Ruto and their close allies eating <laughs> with a very big spoon. And they try to create this impression that the mountain and Kalenji Drift Valley are also eating. And Kenyan should listen to me very carefully. It's William Ruto and his friends, Rigadi Ashagwa and his friends, who are benefiting from this government. The ordinary Kalenjin without connections to these people, or the ordinary Mount Kenya resident without connections to these people, are suffering just as somebody at the cost is suffering. And that's something that Kenyans in the Kalenji Drift Valley and on the mountain should know. Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa are using them to enrich themselves as Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa. The people down there are just left defending some greedy individuals who are using them for their own personal gains. That's what the people on the ground should know. So the big question, because it's clear that across board, Kenyans are tired and fed up of Ruto's government. So the big question is, how can Kenyans turn that into making William Ruto a one-term president? I think that's the elephant in the room. How to turn that head into making William Ruto a one-term president. I've been explaining this issue for some time now, and I'll repeat. There are two realistic and sure bets of sending William Ruto home in 2027, if at all he will be lucky to reach that 2027. The first sure way of sending William Ruto home is to reject any leader supporting William Ruto, whether an aspirant or an elected leader, MCA, governor, senator, MP, 
Kenyan should reject those leaders even if they are performing. I think sometimes revolutions need some sacrifices. Kenyan should and must sacrifice this leader supporting William Ruto to save themselves from a William Ruto's oppressive regime. These are the leaders who are actually giving William Ruto the strength to oppress the poor. So the first thing is to reject these leaders, whether that leader is delivering or not. And I'm saying that because I've seen UDA doing some grassroots mobilization, registering members, and I'm seeing Kenyans attending those grassroots mobilizations and registrations. Any Kenyan attending those mobilization registrations, in my honest opinion, is a Kenyan helping William Ruto to continue oppressing him or herself. Kenyan should disengage in totality with anything to do with William Ruto or anything to do with Odam or anything to do with any leader supporting William Ruto. If Kenyans do that, William Ruto will have no option but to go home come the next election or come that 2027. If you hate William Ruto but you are supporting this leader supporting him, then you are doing a zero work. So if Kenyans are serious, that should be the first step. Secondly, Kenyans still have the powers to send William Ruto home through the ballot come 2027. All is not lost. Kenyans still have that power. And they can only send William Ruto home in come 2027 if all of them turn out in their millions to vote against William Ruto. Irrespective of the candidates who will be contesting against William Ruto, let Kenyans reject William Ruto. And I'm very happy there is a friend of mine, Mushiri, who says come the next election, if it will be William Ruto and a devil, he will rather vote for a devil than voting for William Ruto. That's the spirit because it's a fact. This is a leader who is assuming Kenyans are all fools. I don't think we are fools and we can stop a useless leader. Kenyans should turn out in their millions to reject William Ruto, irrespective of the candidate who will be contesting against William Samoy Ruto. And closely tied to that point, some Kenyans are saying that William Ruto will rig 2027 presidential election. That is the perception amongst many Kenyans because it's actually true that all past presidential elections have always been rigged. 2007 was rigged. 2013 was rigged. 2017 was rigged. 2022 was rigged. So Kenyans have, that, have got that conviction that Tutu will rig himself come 2027. Kenyans should start coming out of that mentality. They should stop, rather they should change that perception. Let all Kenyans in agreement make it very clear that irrespective of the method William Ruto will use, he will not succeed. If that's the discussion amongst Kenyans, then even those who are not willing to come and vote, they will vote because they know their votes will count. But if Kenyans continue with this debate that Ruto will rig the election come 2027, that will discourage Kenyans who wanted to vote against him, for they are seeing they'll just be wasting their time. So Kenyans should change that debate. Kenyans should be spreading this message and this information that irrespective of whether William Ruto will rig or whichever method he will use, 
he will fail. And if Kenyans actually adopt that, Ruto will not succeed, even if he will try rigging. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. In case you want to support our forum, contact me through that number below or feel free to channel your support to that number to enable the channel grow stronger. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.